Getting a little turned around while using the Rocketbook Orbit reusable page pack is pretty easy. If you only use one side of the page, navigating through a top-bound page pack is fairly intuitive. You flip the page over from bottom to top if you want to move forward, and the reverse from top to bottom if you want to move back. However, if like me, you prefer to use both sides of your page pack back to back, then it becomes a little more challenging to figure out how to navigate forward and backward, because the front and back side of the pages aren't easily differentiated. This is particularly problematic if you use the fully lined, dot grid, blank, or graph page packs, because they use a consistent pattern on both sides of the page, so if you've been focused on what you're writing, not on how you last flip the page, it's easy to get lost. And while I prefer the top-bound design of the Rocketbook Flip and Orbit, this navigation issue is a serious one, and something that I mentioned in my initial review of both products. Having said that, Rocketbook has clearly been listening to their customers, because in the time between releasing the Flip and the Orbit, the design team integrated some subtle sun and moon icons into the Orbit page packs to help mitigate this orientation problem, provided that you know how to use them. So in this video, I want to provide a brief overview of how I use these icons to navigate through the infinite flip of the Rocketbook Orbit reusable page packs. These sun and moon icons are hidden unless viewed in the correct light, in order to not distract from the contents of your page. But simply shifting your gaze or tilting the notebook should reveal them. Personally, I associate the sun icon with the front of my pages and the moon with the back. Having said that, choose whatever is intuitive to you because it really doesn't make a difference. I'll also consider moving deeper into the page pack from top to bottom to be moving forward and the opposite movement, layering more pages on top of the starting page, to be moving backwards. The reason two-sided navigation is challenging is because when you flop the page over horizontally to use the backside, this forward and backward navigation gets inverted. This is why the sun and moon icons are so critical. They allow you to reference your forward and backward movements relative to your initial front position. If this video has sparked your interest in learning something new, like boosting your productivity, you may be interested in checking out today's video sponsor, Skillshare, which you can join for under $10 a month with an annual subscription. The Skillshare catalog includes thousands of ad-free classes on a wide variety of topics, so it's easy to find something that interests you then you can learn online and at your own pace. I recommend Ali Abdal's Productivity Masterclass, Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity, which takes you from the basics of productivity through the myths that we often fall prey to before showing you how to unlock the power of forming positive habits and leveraging your downtime. And the best part is, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. How you progress forward in the page pack depends on whether you're on the front, sun side of the page, or the back, moon side. From the sun side, we can move forward to its back side by simply flipping the page over vertically, then flopping the pack horizontally, leaving us on the back side of page one, where we now see the moon icon. Then, from the back side moon icon, we can continue moving forward in the page pack simply by flopping the page pack over horizontally one more time, which brings us to the front, sun side, of page 2. Or put more succinctly, from a sun we flip, then flop to move forward, and from a moon we just flop forward. Flip, then flop forward from sun to moon, and simply flop forward from moon to sun. And so on. It's worth practicing this a few times, having written numbers or references of some kind on your pages, while saying the mantra in order to connect this mental structure with your muscle memory. Alternatively, as you may have figured out, the opposite is true when moving backward in the page pack. From the front, or sun side, we flop the pack over horizontally to reveal the back, or moon side, of the previous page. Then from here, we can flip vertically and flop horizontally to return to the front side of that page. Again, more succinctly, we flop back from sun to moon, then flip and flop backwards from moon to sun. Flop back from sun to moon, then flip and flop backwards from moon to sun, and so on. 
It may also be helpful to repeat the page pack movement mantras specific to each icon, rather than simply in sequence of moving forward or backward, because I've introduced them as if you're always starting on the sun side, which may not be the case. So, from the sun side, we flip and flop forward, or we flop backwards. And from the moon side, we flop forward, or flip and flop backwards. Sun, flip and flop forward, flop backwards. Moon, flop forwards, flip and flop backwards. Again, it took me repeating and practicing this regularly over the course of a week before I noticed I was making fewer navigation mistakes. Hopefully giving these sun and moon icons a little more context will help you as well. I think they're a smart addition to the Orbit page packs, and something that I hope to see in the Axis page packs, as well as future editions of the Flip Notebooks. And that's it! If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.